It's a way to rationalize spending that many might not realize they're doing. It's called girl math, and Rachel Lau explains how sometimes it doesn't add up. If I buy $30 more of stuff to get free shipping, that's a good deal, right? Round down, not up. Girl math. It's affectionately being called girl math, a trend that started on social media. Women explaining the mathematical gymnastics they do when shopping to convince themselves they're saving money. But is it economically sound? We put that question to economics professor Moshe Lander. There's some legitimacy in what they're doing. I think it's a way to try and convey across social media something that's probably taught in a classroom that's never absorbed. Some examples, he says, are real economic concepts. Like, if I buy an item for $100 and wear it 10 times, it only really costs me $10 per wear. That is correct. That's called the average cost. If you're going to buy an article of clothing, if you're going to buy an iPhone, then you want to get the most usage out of it possible to reduce the average cost per use. Others are a little less convincing. If I put items in my online cart but don't hit buy, I made money? No, I don't think that that's math in any way. <laughs> that's just not spending. And some just leave him laughing. No. <laughs> no. What about if I pay cash, it doesn't count because there's no proof of spending. Spending is spending, whether you have a receipt for it or not, uh, whether you pay cash under the table or whether you pay with uh, an electronic transfer. Uh, no, it, it, it's you spent the money. Lander explains that part of the trend is younger generations don't actually carry physical cash around with them. They just move digital numbers around, which can make the savings seem bigger. But as he says, spending is spending. Rachel Lau, CTV News.